This is about the cancer that never makes the headlines. The impact of having a spinal emergency is devastating. A deadly cancer which needs treating within 24 hours. I'm grateful for every day, every month, enjoying what we can do. And these people have given us that. Steady, steady slide. And the team gifting valuable months to terminal patients. I want to leave this planet comfortable and cared for. If it was the court, she'd be paraplegic at this point, I think. It's 8am and decisions here can determine how patients' lives end. They ordered a whole spine MRI as an urgent case, so to be done with... Yvonne is top of the list and they're worried. She needs radiotherapy as soon as possible. So she has this team specialises in the early detection of emergency spinal cancer across Cheshire and Merseyside. We need to get her here, don't we, then, for treatment. Delayed care, even by hours, could mean permanent paralysis. We'll arrange to bring her across. We'll get an urgent ambulance. And just weeks of life instead of months. Yvonne's been rushed from Warrington to Liverpool. I'm going to be with you after day. She already knows she has lung cancer, but now something has been found on her spine after she reported back pain. This has been going on for several months. I thought I had a gardening injury that just didn't really get any better. Thank you so much for speaking to us. No really, problem. really appreciate it. Okay. We're with Yvonne as she finds out that the cancer has spread to her back. So it is an emergency, but it's only one treatment. We can get that all done today. Without action, the bones that should protect the delicate spinal cord will instead crush it, and that could mean incontinence and paralysis. Keep so, you strong. Keep you strong for your treatment. This life-ending condition is one of the most common secondary cancers. Had a good innings, had a good life. I don't particularly want to leave all my loved ones. I'm OK with it. It's just everybody else isn't. That's what hurts. Sounds like you're very loved. I am. I'm lucky. Take it into the booth now, okay? By lunchtime, Yvonne has had a CT scan and Dr Claire Hart can see where the problem is. The cancer within the bone had grown to compress, to squeeze the spinal canal. The white fluid should flow past. You can see that it's squeezed very tight. It will make a buzzing noise, but you won't feel anything at all. What's the ideal outcome for Yvonne in this case? What we're wanting is for the bone and the, the spinal canal to get the, a good enough dose of radiation. Pop that in the other finger. After seven years, this service has seen the average survival rate increase by six months and the quality of life improve, while freeing up valuable NHS beds. You don't want to be here, don't get me wrong, but if you've got to come to a place, this is it. Robert had his treatment here earlier this year. So nice to see you up and about. Oh. When I saw you last time, you were in the bed. Yeah. yeah. It's lovely. A scan found cancer on the spine, but it took further tests to work out he also had cancer of the esophagus. The original shot was horrendous. I'm not a softy, but I had tears in my eyes. It wasn't when it, it, it was wasn't really awful. That wasn't so nice. And there's no easy way to tell somebody. I mean, you just they say you've got cancer. But on, it's, it's a massive word. Robert knew he was on borrowed time. Once he was home and back on his feet, he made a big decision. We got down on one knee in front of my three boys and their wives and the four grandchildren and uh, proposed. <laughs> and she said yes. I left him in hospital with big wide eyes, having just been told he can't be cured. And I thought, what's more important in life now? He wants me to be his wife, so let's do it. I'm 75 years old. Some of my friends are no longer here, so I'm grateful for every day, every month, just enjoying what we can do. And these people have given us that, haven't they? Yeah. It's been brilliant. The impact of having a spinal emergency in the middle of your life is devastating to everybody. So knowing that actually we give the Roberts a chance for this not to be you know, the very end of their life. It means everything to us. NICE want this kind of treatment rolled out across England and Wales. The team here can't alter the final destination for their patients. Got an itchy back and that's about it, really. But they can get Yvonne on her way home tonight. 
It's not to be frightened of. Stays over now, just wait for transport. Yeah, back. home. Been well looked after, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> but he had some red flags. Mm -hmm. And they can positively change how lives end. So between L1 to L5. Giving thousands of people extra valuable time with their families. I'm sure they'll go on to save a lot of people. But couldn't be more grateful. <laughs>